Rightio, EGD learners, I know you've all been asking how do we do the civil title panel as a requirement of the PAT for engineering graphics and design. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing in detail, according to SANS, what is the requirements of a title panel for civil working drawings. And please remember, your civil title panel must conform to these requirements specifically on your first working drawing, which will be your floor plan. The other drawings, of course, can have just a border with your name, your surname, your page number, the title of the drawing, and the actual date on which that drawing was completed. That's the only requirements for the following working drawings, elevations, uh, sectional elevation, two-point perspectives, and even the site plan. But for your floor plan, you must adhere to a full civil title panel according to SANS. Let's have a look. Okay, so here is the requirements as stated by SANS for a civil title panel. I'll also have it in the download link below. But our discussion needs to start of the purpose of a title panel. It really is to kind of have a summary of for who that drawing is intended and what who made the drawing and what do we have on that actual drawing. And it's always going to be on the bottom right hand side of a drawing for ease of reference. And what is included in the title panel is indicated here. First of all, you'll have a project title. In other words, new proposed timeshare uh, reception and spa or new proposed uh, dwelling or new proposed clubhouse, etc. Whatever uh, drawing you are going to be doing, that's your title. The subject of that drawing, is it a floor plan? Is it an elevation? Uh, in your case, it's going to be a floor plan what scale you were using, the date of that drawing, the project number. Now, that's normally internally, and you can come up here with your own project number, um, you know, just as a fictitious project number. The actual drawing number, in other words, is this the first drawing of that floor plan, or has there been any revisions? We'll look at the details in a moment. Code references, if appropriate. Name of architect, in other words, your name, um, and your address and telephone number. Now, of course, you can also come up here with a fictitious architecture company in your name if you'd like to, but that's kind of uh, uh, important, going to be your address and your contact details. These days, you can even add an email address. All right, name of project, architect, engineer, etc. Who is the lead architect on this uh, project? And that can again be your name. It should also give the names or initials of the persons who drew the drawing who traced it or prepared it and who checked the drawing. Uh, there you can use fictitious names, of course, for yourself. Okay, here's some examples of civil title panels. Now, let's just look at this one here in the middle, which is the clearest for us. All right, of course, there's a reference code at the bottom, the date drawn by, uh, initials, who checked it, and the scale used. Then the drawing number again. Remember, these things are more used in corporate architect firms. You can come up with fictitious ones for those information that you, of course, aren't sure of. Uh, project number. And then the project. Proposed new uh, dwelling or proposed, in your case, new timeshare reception and day spa area with a deck at stand 82, etc., etc. So that will be very specific to your PAT requirements for grade 11s. This, of course, will look different. The title, the drawing title, in your case, it will be floor plan uh, because that is the one which is required for the civil uh, title panel. Printed by and the date of print. Then your uh, company details uh, and then the revisions, the date and the description. Of course, we're going to start from the bottom to the top. And this is really nice to add this in, uh, especially if you have done a floor plan and your teacher gives you a revision, then that's nice to add that in. Because you're drawing in pencil, you can go and correct that afterwards. Okay, uh, in the space below, you can draw a, uh, 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 okay, of course, this is now for any symbols that might be required, uh, even projection symbols, other than that. Some of my learners in the examples that I'm going to show you now, they've put in their actual um, uh, symbols that they actually used in their drawing, like for instance, a wash tub, etc. And then you're going to have to have your architect signature and the client signature, of course. And then there's a couple of notes 
Now, of course, you can come up with your own notes or you can just copy that. All right, that's examples of civil title panels here on the left hand side. There's an empty one. The width roundabout is 100 millimeters and it goes the full length of your page. So make sure you take a look at this and you make sure that you got get yours as close as possible. If you do it similar to this, you're going to get 10 out of 10. Right here. Okay, that was a couple of practical examples. Thank you so much for watching. Now you can go and you can nail that civil title panel. Now it's your turn. <music>